What's up guys? Today I'm in Central Rock Gym, Cambridge! And we're meeting with Troy again. What's up guys? We're gonna be talking about how to climb dynamically today. Dynamic climbing is anytime you have a really big reach or even sometimes holds that you can't reach in your current position, you may actually have to leave the wall to go to them. Dynamic climbing involves a lot of getting your momentum correct, using your hips, using your legs, your big muscle groups are really important when you're climbing dynamically. I'm gonna have Troy take us through different dynamic climbs. We're gonna go through a couple pointers and we're gonna see him do some sick dinos. First and foremost, warming up is super important when you're dynoing. Because dynoing is a very aggressive style of climbing, you're gonna be using you know, your entire body, a lot of your larger muscle groups, so it's really important to get on the wall, get some easy climbs in, warm your body up because you are going to be doing some very physical climbing when you're dynoing. So your legs are the most important thing to consider when you're dynoing. That's where a lot of your power is going to come from. As I'm sure most of you know, it's much easier to jump than it is to do a pull up. So we're gonna get most of the dyno power from our legs. Make sure that you start low on the dyno, making sure you're hanging by your arms, your legs are bent, and then you're going to pull with your arms, pull until you reach the peak of that momentum, and then you let your legs gradually take over until you're leaping in the air towards the hold. So when you're dynoing, you always wanna pay attention to, uh, first of all, where you're going, where your target hold is, and also what direction that hold is facing. You always wanna go in with a plan. It's gonna be very hard if you're just kind of jumping straight out. You always wanna be jumping in the direction of the hold. So we're gonna swing our hips up and towards the hold that we're targeting. So say the hold is up and to your right, you're gonna to wanna to generate from low left. You're gonna use your hips, swing up to the right, let your legs take over, and then jump towards the hold. So it's super important when you're dynoing to get aggressive. You're gonna be doing a lot of leaping, a lot of bigger moves. Climbing slow and static and a little timid is gonna hold you back in this style. So don't hold back. Pull as hard as you can, jump as hard as you can, and give it all you've got because that's what this style requires. If you're giving it all you've got, you also want to kind of practice knowing where you're going to fall and that kind of stuff, how to do it safely, exactly. right? Yeah, you want to make sure you plan out your landing zone, making sure your landing is clear, getting used to how you fall, mastering the move, and making sure you're safe with it. You want to be safe about it. You want to make sure your landing is clear. Try the jump a couple of times. Make sure you're getting used to the fall and you feel comfortable with the motion. But once you have all that dialed, get aggressive and it's time to do the move. All right, so a couple of easy exercises you can do to help practice your dynoing in the gym are trying to go to some easier routes. Uh, we're gonna be looking for steeper walls when we're climbing dynamically in general. So look for something that's very well within your ability, something that you shouldn't really fall on, and try skipping holds. Let your feet cut out each time, getting used to swinging out and bringing your feet back in, getting used to a real aggressive and momentum-based style of climbing. And this is how you get that six pack, right? Definitely. <laughs> when your feet cut, your core is super important. Tense up your core, making sure you're, you're precise with your footwork as well, because we don't want to waste any time with our feet kind of dangling off the wall. Once those feet cut, we want to get our feet right back on the wall and conserve as much energy as possible. Another great thing you can do is just make up some dinos around the gym. So search for anything really juggy, something that you can jump to, and just practice leaving the wall with all four points and then relaxing back onto the wall. Getting used to the motion of dinoing, getting used to being aggressive and jumping around. The circuit board is a great place to make up some dinos. There's an endless amount of holds on the circuit board. There's plenty of jugs to jump to and jump from, and you can cater it to your own level. Whatever you're comfortable with, search for some holds on the circuit board and start jumping around. One important thing to remember when you're dynoing is you should never get too carried away and make dynoing or dynamic climbing your go-to. Technique is always king in climbing. We wanna conserve our energy. That's what lets us climb at our limit. 
Sometimes dynamic climbing is necessary and that's why we're practicing it. But just keep in mind, try and uh, look for ways to kind of out technique the boulder. And at your very last resort, go for the dyno. Troy, thanks so much, man. Yeah, no problem, it was super fun. Yeah, all right, I'll catch you later. Sounds good. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. What, what?